Today's Highlights Why Griffin Colapinto is a favorite to win the world title at Trestles What it's like to be inside of a skeleton bay tunnel Fish impale surfer's face in freak accident In two months' time, Griffin Colapinto will, finally, get the chance to compete for a world title on his home turf. It's about time. Hey, tell us about the run of waves you've had at Lowers lately. I'd say it's some of the best lowers I've ever surfed, and the crowd was super mellow because all the 2% crew was in Australia for the Challengers, so I had it to myself. After two straight years of missing the final five at Lowers by one measly spot, this year it's only a matter of what place he'll qualify in. Hitting those two events in such good form. I think those swells definitely played a solid part because I surfed like six hours a day, like three days in a row, so got my reps up and the board. I Watch the full clip at youtube.com slash Red Bull Surfing. After a two year silence, Skeleton Bay finally came out of hibernation. Nick Von Rupp scored a few unforgettable pits. Okay, boys. POV action, Namibia, swells firing. I'm gonna show you what a day like is in the water. The Portuguese surfer is a true tube maestro, and it's interesting to see how he approaches 200 meters barrels. Watch the full clip at youtube.com slash nickvinrup1671. An Australian surfer was on a trip to Mentaway Islands when a fish jumped out of the water, then impaled his nose. A Perth man has suffered a freak injury while surfing in Indonesia, impaled in the face by a fish. Luckily, one of his friends on the trip was a doctor, and he was able to remove the fish beak and stitch his buddy up. Sitting in tropical waters off an Indonesian island, the last thing Steve Keswick expected was a slap in the face. thought one of the boys were having a bit of a prank and throwing seaweed at me. I've looked around and everyone's looking at me, like, really intently. And, uh, yeah, one, one, one of the coaches came up to me and, and he says, oh, you better stop, you've got a fish in your face. The Como Carpenter was at a surf school off the Mentawi Islands in Sumatra with eight others. None of them had ever seen anything like this. A foot-long garfish flying out of the water, its sharp needle... Find out more at surfer.com.